ISIS targets were killed and one was wounded. And we know of zero civilian casualties. Now at six, new details about last night's targeted drone strike against ISIS-K in Afghanistan. The operation payback for Thursday's deadly suicide bombing near the Kabul airport. Good evening, I'm Carly Barnett. According to defense officials, at least one of the targets had links to potential future attacks on the airport. Meanwhile, today, the remains of the 13 U.S. service members killed are on their way home. CBS 4 News correspondent Elise Preston has the latest. The Pentagon says two ISIS-K members were killed and one injured in a U.S. drone strike in Afghanistan's Nangarhar province. In this strike, they lost a planner and they lost a facilitator and they've got one wounded. Defense officials have not said whether the three played a role in the deadly attack on the Kabul airport. The Defense Department released the names of the 13 service members killed in the suicide bombing at a perimeter gate. They included 11 Marines, one Army, and one Navy service member. <laughs> Cheryl Morola's son Dylan was a Marine Corps Lance Corporal. My son was over there helping people to come home, and he serves his country to the greatest of his extent and made the ultimate sacrifice for us. After nearly two decades in Afghanistan, the U.S. plans to complete its withdrawal by President Biden's Tuesday deadline. On Saturday, the president issued a statement saying in part, the situation on the ground continues to be extremely dangerous and the threat of terrorist attacks on the airport remains high. Our commanders inform me that an attack is highly likely in the next 24 to 36 hours. In its waning days, the evacuation of American citizens and Afghans has slowed but continued Saturday, with about 1,400 people cleared for flights. We have the ability to include evacuees on military airlift out of Afghanistan until the very end. And in midair, an Afghan woman gave birth aboard an evacuation flight from Dubai to Britain. The cabin crew helped deliver the baby girl, said to be in good condition and named Hava. Elise Preston, CBS News. The Pentagon says since August 15th, when the Taliban swept into power, more than 117,000 people have been evacuated, including about 5,400 Americans.